What's up? Ah, how you doing? Come on in. It's the Magician of Tarot here. Shooting them up. Coming in peace, though. How you doing? Come on in. It's the Magician of Tarot here. Back with another installment. Hope you missed me. It's been a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, we're talking about urgent messages from spirit. Urgent, urgent, urgent messages, messages, messages from spirit. 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 Okay. I, I've already preached on the last four pals. Allow me to pick my pals, please. Okay, first pile is going to be the no bad vibes. We don't want no hateration, no holleration over here. That way. All right, forceful. <laughs> um, second pile is going to be this turn down for what? Kitty cat say meow. Mm -hmm. Third pile is going to be the happy trees. If you're feeling creative recently, if you've been puffing on some inspiration, you might want to pick out this pile. Last but not least, it's going to be this cute little panda. Say, if you're cute and you're happy, that's what it's all about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's what it is. That's the power four. Guys, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Tell me how much you love me, how much you miss me, all the good stuff. Keep the bad stuff to yourself, but give me the good stuff. That's all I got. Peace, y'all. What's up, pile number one? Let's talk about urgent message from spirit. Great spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with pile number one? Please and thank you. I don't have channel messages or extra cards, so it should be short and sweet. Great spirit, what's going on with pile number one? Urgent messages. We have the queen of swords out here in reverse. Yikes. I'm getting y'all energy out here, y'all. And typically, I tap in with my second card, and I don't like to accuse or attack, but that's the energy out here. Spirit is telling me I have to confront you guys is harshness with the queen of swords in reverse the queen of swords in reverse is going to be rude cold-hearted prickly unnecessary and i feel like you guys have it out for another person um i feel like you have your guards up but they're up a little bit too high i don't know what this person did to you but i feel like spirit wants me to tell you guys to unclench your jaw relax let things go forgive especially with the queen out here because whether you're a man or a woman this woman embodies grace so you have to remember forgiving and not cutting people's heads off with the queen of swords out here in reverse you have it out against another person let's talk about it we have the seven of pentacles out here in reverse you have it out against them because they've wasted a lot of time the seven of pentacles is all about patience and watching things grow i feel like you've been waiting patiently you've been sitting on your thumbs you've been waiting for a person to appreciate you or acknowledge you or value you because we have pinnacles out here and I feel like you guys have just been feeling like a tumbleweed because that's what I'm being shown in my mind's eye. Like you've just been wandering around aimlessly. And I feel like you guys aren't the type to wander about other people or just wait idly. And I feel like it has you a bit bitter out here. Okay, we got nothing but reversals out here. So Spirit wants you guys to exercise patience, exercise forgiveness. Okay, hear people out is also what I'm getting here. Okay, let them, you know, present a case before you accuse. <laughs> what else we got? We got the five of cups out here in the verse. Little do you know somebody misses you. Now, I feel like this is a person that doesn't reveal their feelings because we have a cloaked out individual in all black. And whenever you have that, it's a person that doesn't want to reveal their feelings. Um, this is all about grief, sadness, and regret. I feel like your person, channel message, um, this is a love reading, first and foremost. I feel like your person misses you and they regret not revealing their emotions, but I, they miss you. And I feel like it's hard for them to really reveal that, but you guys have to be a bit understanding and figure out why it's hard for them to reveal that. You know, you got to get to the bottom of it instead of accusing a person for, you know, not adhering to your expectations. What else we got? We got the moon card in reverse, and you know, it makes sense to me as a reader because the moon card is all about putting a spotlight to someone's shadow side, and I saw your shadow side starting off this reading. I saw the bitterness. I saw the accusations. I saw the accusing. I saw the unnecessary vibes, and I got to call you guys out because I don't want the darkness and the uncertainty to really plague your mind and cause a negative 
situation because I see lots of negative and darkness within these cards. So I need you guys to really lighten up and understand a bit more. Be patient a bit more. And I have to call you guys out so you guys don't trip yourselves up. Spirit is giving me like a warning. I see this this yellow light out here. Like Spirit wants you to slow your roll. What else we got? We got the Five of Swords in reverse. And this is another card that makes sense to me because the Five of Swords in reverse is mislabeling your enemy, miscalculating. I feel like you want to accuse a person for doing you wrong because the Five of Swords is all about doing people wrong, doing things behind people's back. You want to jump to conclusions. You want to accuse. You want to persecute another person because you feel like they went against you. I got the Six of Swords in reverse just telling me you guys are in a turbulent state of mind. Your, your mind is getting the best of you. Because you guys got to be able to walk away and move on from it. Because the Six of Swords is all about going from a rough state of mind to a calm state of mind. So you guys got to evaluate and let things go. Instead of allowing the past to really stir your waters up with the Six of Swords in reverse. What else we got? We got the Judgment card in reverse. Another card that makes sense to me. Because the Judgment card in reverse is energy of being critical, being harsh, and being judgmental. I feel like you guys are being super harsh towards another person and you don't know their story, you don't know their background, you don't know what they went through. The Spirit is showing me the caterpillar, not the butterfly. Um, this person had to go through a lot and you don't know their story. You know, you might view them or judge them on the outside appearance, but you have to listen, you have to learn, you have to understand instead of accusing and being harsh and critical. Because I saw the harshness and the criticalness with the Queen of Swords. What else we got? Ending this reading with the Hermit card out here. You have to explore and mature because the Hermit card is known to be wise and a sage. Explore what this person's gone through. And I see more darkness out here. You don't know the whole story, but you have to find the whole story. You have to get to the bottom of things. You can't be immature. Spirit is forcing me to read this in reversal. You can't be immature and accuse and say, you know what? You snooze, you lose because I'm seeing father time out here. You have to be a bit patient, be a bit more mature, and explore what's available, you know, without accusing. <laughs> hey, Spirit, can I get closing remarks, please, and thank you. Okay, look what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have a soulmate companionship, a soulmate relationship, some of that's into you, but that's what love is. Love is being patient, love is being kind. And most importantly, forgiving. <laughs> Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. And to be honest with you, this is a test. If you guys can't be forgiving, it's, come, it's almost like you can't open yourself up to love. So, because that's what love is. Being patient, kind, and forgiving. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and closing remarks, please? And thank you. A lot of you guys feel hopeless because this person, you know, wasted time or you felt rejected or this person poured you out and now you just want to walk away and you guys got to not give up hope. I don't know what that experience wants me to use. That be, okay, nine of swords. You guys got to confront some things, especially if you guys are single right now, because the nines are all about what one person endures alone. So if you don't like being single and you want a person next to you in bed and not cuddle and hold you tight at night, you got to exercise being forgiving. You got to confront your shadow side, because I saw your shadow side with this moon card in reverse. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and close remarks for pal number one, please? Let's talk about this Queen of Swords in reverse, being harsh. Page of Swords out here in reverse. And I'm seeing monkey see, monkey do because my Page of Swords in reverse is known to be a spy. One, I feel like some of you guys have kids. That's not everybody because I see a child out here, a parent-child dynamic. With monkey see, monkey do, you don't want your child, if you have a child, to pick up this bad habit of you accusing and you, you know, being harsh. And for some of you guys, you don't want to be, for some of you guys that don't have children, you don't want to be immature and accused without knowing all the facts. Because, you know, uh, you could easily put your foot in your mouth with the uh, page of swords out here in reverse, based on the things that you think you know. Let's talk about this uh, seven of pentacles out here, waste of time. 
we have the Eight of Cups out here. Eight of Cups is all about leaving everything behind. You felt like you were waiting idly and you're not the type to wait idle. So you're ready to walk away, leave it all behind, not look back. But Spirit wants you to come back, be patient, allow this person to allow this union to grow. Let's talk about this Five of Cups out here missing you. Cherry Car, they're in your direction. And I feel like they will confess that they miss you, that they adore you, that they regret not revealing their feelings and that they were a bit controlling and they wanted things their way. So give them that opportunity before you cast somebody away. Let's talk about this moon card in reverse, putting a spotlight to shadow side. And we got the seven of pentacles out here in reverse again. I have to put a spotlight because you guys are ready to hit exit. You're ready to throw this whole thing away, but what you're throwing away is a lot of potential. You guys can grow from the situation. You guys can make it to higher heights, but that's only if you believe, but I feel like y'all don't even believe anymore. Okay, you don't believe in the potential. And I see the arrow going down, you know, you're just done with it. Let's talk about this five of swords, miscal miscalculating. Four of pinnacles out here. Your miscalculation, you wanting to accuse or you not knowing the whole situation is just, just you being controlling. Because the four of pinnacles are all about control, holding on tight to things. And I feel like you guys got to learn to let go. You know, I feel like you guys carry along your past and you assume that people are going to do you wrong. When you just have to be patient. And if they're going to do you wrong, give them that opportunity and then you can respond. But don't, you know, anticipate. Let's talk about this judgment card in reverse, being harsh. Empress out here in reverse. And this is more energy of being harsh with the Empress in reverse because the Empress is known to be supportive of grace loving and i feel like you guys have to be light-hearted with this butterfly out here you have to grow i see lots of bushes and growth out here i feel like your attitude is like a pesticide right now but you guys have to be able to get rid of the pesticides and toxicity and be natural go with the flow let's talk about this hermit card out here upright knight of wands out here in reverse a lot of you guys feel like a person left you in the dark because they want to go be a whore or they were attention whores or they were dealing with another person and like i said before like i've been saying this entire reading you don't know the whole story it's a lot that's in the dark that you don't know about and it's better to really find out the facts than to assume or to jump to conclusions guys that's all i got for you please like share subscribe Hey, what's up, pile two? Come on in. Let's get it in. Let's talk about you. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with pile number two? I don't have channel messages. I don't have extra cards. So it should be short and sweet. Great Spirit, pile two, please and thank you. Urgent messages. Three of Pentacles out here in reverse. Um, I'm getting energy that you might want to go to pile three because you're starting off with a three out here. Some of you guys are having issues with work. You're not working or you have not enough hours because the three of pentacles is all about work working with other people and income and i feel like you guys don't have either a job or income this could be your energy or someone else's but i'm really getting y'all energy out here so let's go with my second card and see what's going on here what the context is i feel like yikes the four 
of Wellness is all about home space, living with other people, community. And I feel like you either live with another person or you are the said another person that lives with another person. Either they're not pulling their weight or you're not pulling your weight. I feel like they're looking at you as a mess because my four wands are in reverse as a mess. But typically with the four wands is a clean home space. And I feel like somebody's not reliable in a home space, whether it's you or somebody else. And I feel like there's an issue out here. I feel like something has to be confronted uh, with these reversals because I read uprights and reversals and this has been a long time coming, okay? If you love somebody, because I see the love out here, you have to provide, you have to help, you have to be partners because this is partnership out here. And I feel like some things are not equal, whether that's your end or their end. So let's talk about it. We got the King of Cups out here. A lot of you guys got some baby daddies or boyfriends that sit at home all day and watch TV and they drink all the food. I mean, they drink all the food. They drink all the, the juice and they eat all the food and they watch all the TV. And I feel like if they really love you, then they will support you equally. They will want to, you know, help around. And if this is your energy, you have to recognize that you're the man or, you know, a counterpart. It doesn't, this is just energy out here. The King of Cups is known to be a counterpart. But um, you just have to recognize fairness if you really love this person, okay? If you want, really, you gotta be there for them with the King of Cups. So let's talk about it. We got the Page of Wands out here. Somebody, I don't know if this is you or somebody else, somebody is a bit spoiled, somebody's a bit childish, somebody doesn't wanna grow up, somebody doesn't wanna face responsibilities, somebody wants to watch cartoons all day, not clean up the house, and either you, or another person needs to confront something and say, hey, we got an issue out here, you know? And I actually prefer to call you guys out than for this other person to call you guys out because you guys should be willing to wanna be there for another person that you, that you love. Now, this could be a loving relationship or this could be platonic or this could be, you know, family vibes, it doesn't matter. But if you live in a home with a person, you know, that you support, then you should, you know, want to do that naturally what else we got we got the ace of swords out here upright i feel like this message resonates for you despite this energy going everywhere for me as a reader the ace of swords is all about truth clarity and intuition um you have to speak your truth or you know if another person has spoken their truth and you don't really acknowledge them then there's a problem okay but i feel like you guys got to step up to the plate and do something because if you don't do something then it won't change what else we got we got the Nine of Pentacles out here in reverse. This is more spoiled energy because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is not appreciating uh, what you have. And that could be as far as things, as far as people, as far as a living space. You know, it goes different places, but I see the lack of appreciation. I see the spoiledness with the Page of Wands in reverse. So you guys got to really appreciate those around you, appreciate your space, you know, clean up after yourselves. I'm not trying to be your parent, but. Spirit wants you to appreciate those around you and the materials around you. And I see a lack of money with the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles out here in reverse. So something's got to give. Ending this reading with the Nine of Cups out here. I feel like either you or your spouse feels will feel validated because the Nine of Cups is happiness and wish fulfillment. I'm hearing finally, you know, if they saw a change in behavior, that will brighten up somebody's mood greatly. You know, you already make this person happy in your heart space, but you got to like, you know, contribute a bit. You can't allow this to be unbalanced. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and closing remarks? Please and thank you. It's time for somebody to really uh, do something with their time effectively. Great Spirit, can I get clear and close the marks, please, and thank you. Ooh. We got four of wands in reverse. Uh, multiple cards, and I like starting it off my duplicates. So let's start off with this four of wands out here. Hopelessness with the star card in reverse. I feel like somebody is a mess. Um, can I see a spill out here? I see mop water out here. Somebody needs to contribute as far as cleaning a bit. And as far as, you know, providing income or, you know, providing with bills, because I see hopelessness out here and it's just like, okay, 
what sign do you need? Let's talk about the star card. I mean, this other card, Justice card. It's not balanced because the Justice card is all about weighing the scales, discernment, and balance. And I feel like it's not balanced. Like one person does this and another another person doesn't do anything. Let's talk about this nine of cups out here. Happiness, feeling validated. Um, this person has had inner conflict and they probably have issues with standing up to themselves because the five of wands are all about standing up to themselves and, you know, competition and arguing and, you know, bickering. But I feel like this person doesn't want to bicker, but they kind of need to because they carry around so much inner conflict. What else we got? We got the cherry card. This person has been resistant to really confront something, but, you know, or you have, but you guys can get your victory, but you guys got to, you know, balance some things out with the white and black out here and compromise all right let's talk about this three of pinnacles out here in reverse like work tower card out here in reverse you don't see an emergency somebody doesn't see an emergency because the tower card is an emergency of stress it's crisis i feel like it's only one person really contributing and another person is just contributing stress <laughs> sorry to say it like that but um somebody doesn't see urgency and they kind of gotta find urgency let's talk about this king of cups Five of Pentacles out here. This person does not see urgency out here. This person is not suffering. They're enjoying their best life. Because the Five of Pentacles is all about suffering out in the cold. Um, instead of really doing something with their time, they'd rather another person suffer and carry the load. But that's not love. Let's talk about this uh, page of Wands out in reverse. Spoiledness. Queen of Swords out here in reverse. This person needs to hold themselves accountable because the Queen of Swords is known to hold people accountable. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse is known to be cold-hearted and rude, and I feel like that's the that's the only way you can get this person attention by being a bit rude or prickly or cutting them off and saying, "Hey, I'm affected." Because if if you don't stand up and say something, they won't get the hint. Let's talk about this Ace of Swords out here: Truth, Clarity, Intuition. Nine of Wands out here. Nine of Wands is solo dull energy, feeling beaten up and tired and exhausted. I feel like one person. Like, we have one out here and one out here. And nines are all about what one person endures alone. We have one person that puts up with a lot. They put up with cleaning. They put up with providing. They, you know, it's just an unbalance. One person just feels exhausted at the end of the day because another person's not helping or recognizing their, you know, their hard work. Let's talk about this nine of pentacles in reverse. Not appreciating. Ace of swords out here. I feel like somebody already knows that they're not appreciating. So they better do something quick. That's all I got. Guys, please like, share, subscribe. I hope it resonates. Peace. Hey, what's up, Pal 3? Come on in. Let's talk about you. Spirit has reminded me that I told Pal 2 to go check out Pal 3, so you might want to check out Pal 2 if you feel called to it. If you don't, then don't. But let's talk about Pal 3. Great Spirit, what's going on, Pal 3? Urgent message for them. I don't have extra cars. I don't have channel messages, so should be short and sweet. Pal 3, urgent messages. 
lover's card out here. I see a breakup. I see a messy situation. I tap in with my second card. I don't know if this is your energy or someone else's that you're into, but um, let's tap in with my second card. Excuse me. Okay, we got channel messages. Whenever I burp like that, it's the channel message of somebody letting something go, and I see the letting go. I see the breakup out here. So somebody's doing a breakup or they're leaving a messy situation just to get closer to you. Spirit is forcing me to read this upright. So this is getting messy because a person is leaving something behind and, and getting or wanting to get closer to you with the lover's card out here in the verse. So let's talk about it. Five of Pentacles out here. I feel like this person has been suffering for a long time in that relationship because I still see the relationship out here. Um, the Five of Pentacles is all about suffering financially, physically, emotionally is what I'm hearing from Spirit. And I feel like this person has been trying to stick it out for a person that they're familiar with for, you know, a long time, past five months, five years. I don't know what it is, but this is a long time frame. They've been trying to stick it out through the misery, through the suffering, but it's not worth it. So they're leaving it behind. I feel like they're upgrading because that's what my five pentacles is in reverse, not suffering. They found somebody like you that is a companion, that is an equal so I feel like they're coming from a messy situation where they weren't valued, they weren't growing, they were, you know, feeling outcasted or out in the cold or not understood is what I'm getting here. But it is a bit messy, though. I will, I will say that. What else we got? We got the star card out here in reverse. The star card in reverse is feeling hopeless, losing hope, down and out and depressed. I feel like you guys probably lost hope because you were dealing with a person that was dealing with another person. Okay, it was messy, and you were like, okay, if they want to deal with that, I'm going to go my way. They can go their way. I don't know what y'all's situation is, but I see the hopelessness out here. I feel like this person views you as someone that is healing, because the star card is all about hope, healing, and um, inspiration. I feel like they're inspired by you. I feel like they want to undress you. This is a combination of pornography. Like, they have lots of lustful thoughts about you, because I see a naked body. They also want to be vulnerable with you, have deep conversations, because this naked body symbolizes vulnerability. But I also see bodily fluids out here. So I'm seeing pornography as far as y'all having so much chemistry, but I also see intimacy. But I also see y'all feeling hopeless because this person didn't either recognize you the way you wanted them to, or they were dealing with a situation that was a bit messy. What else we got? We got the Six of Pentacles. I like this energy. Um, kind of, sort of. Because it's still a third-party situation. Um, but I feel like this person is going to start giving to you more, slowly but surely. I feel like they were dealing with a person that was very toxic or clingy. Or they just, you know, they couldn't take no for an answer. I don't know what it was. But I just see that they're going to start giving to you now. Um, yeah, what else we got? We got the Six of Swords out here. They might even move closer to you because I see transportation out here. Um, the Six of Swords are all about going from a rough state of mind to a calm state of mind. I saw the roughness out here with the Five of Pentacles out here, and I saw the healing with y'all energy out here. So with that being said, with the Six of Swords, is they're leaving the, the suffering behind, and they're going towards where they're inspired by. And I also see a headspace out here. They think about you nonstop. You think about, they think about you constantly in the back of their mind. Um, they become an airhead. Like, people would try to get their attention, and they'd be like, where are you at? Where, hello? They daydream a lot. And they're thinking about you while they're daydreaming. What else we got? We got the high priests out here. I feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive. You probably have platforms where you heal other people, because I see this combination out here. You are uh, a person of guiding light. But I feel like when it comes to your intuition, you couldn't figure this person out, you couldn't figure this situation out, and you weren't meant to figure it out, to be honest with you. It was gonna be a lot of things that were gonna be un in the unknown. Being as though we're intuitive and we work with divination or we're astrologers or whatever it is that you guys do, spirit's not gonna make it easy, easy for us. We have to like, you know, be patient. We have to ascend and be okay with not having all the answers sometimes and that's what i'm getting with the high priestess even though you guys are intuitive you were trying to it was a struggle trying to figure this person out more messages this is a psychic connection 
Y'all probably have intense dreams or intense feelings about one another. Y'all probably think about each other at the same time and you can feel it. It's like a thunderbolt. You're like, dad, go on. I'm thinking about this person. It's mainly because this person's thinking about you. And y'all are like, you know, antennas. Any of this reading with. And keep in mind, they were having a psychic connection with you while they were suffering with another person. So it was kind of like this back and forth thing on, you know, am I supposed to be with that person? Am I supposed to be with this person? What's going on? Are they doing spells and voodoo on me? What's going on? It's just like, nobody has to do that, okay? <laughs> Ending this reading with the star, I mean, the artist card in reverse. Okay, what I'm getting with the artist card in reverse is, you might not believe the hype because my artist card in reverse is a fraud and I feel like this person was going to paint a pretty picture of what they had to go through, what they were leaving behind, all the things that, you know, they had to really overcome. And I feel like they're going to paint this picture or, you know, they're going to have this elaborate story and you're going to feel like it's too elaborate. You're just not going to believe it. You're going to, you know, want to call this person out or call this person a fraud. And I feel like you can't do that. I honestly don't feel like you can unless you really have walked a mile in this person's shoes because I'm seeing this wing on this foot and that's what Spirit's showing you. You can jump to conclusions if you want to, but you won't land where you want to. So let's continue on though. I feel like this person is genuinely inspired by you. Like it's something about creativity with the, between the two of you guys that's just going to skyrocket with the star card and the artist card. I mean, this is like you're their muse is what I'm getting here. All right, let's get closing the remarks. Okay, Spirit wants me to show you guys this. The Five of Swords are in all about miscalculating, mislabeling your enemy. And I feel like you guys can mislabel what this person has gone through, their, their story. But unless you've gone through it, you can't really judge. I feel like a lot of you guys are unsatisfied with this person because the Four of Cups is unhappy energy. I see tears out here, and the Four of Cups doesn't come with tears, but I see tears out here. You typically don't cry over a person or you're emotional or distraught or in distress, but this person brought it out of you. Um, but Spirit wants you to learn to forgive. Don't be stuck. So I'm getting here. Don't accuse this person of lying to you or being a fraud. I hope it is clear. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and closing marks with pile number three, please and thank you. Ooh, we got two cards for the Six of Pentacles upright. I like starting off with my duplicates. They're going to start giving to you. So let's talk about it. The Eight of Swords out here. They're going to start giving to you, but I feel like, you know, you guys are going to remember how you felt stuck, how you were in a situation that brought you pain and misery, how you were uncertain with the Eight of Swords out here. So you can share how you felt this connection. You can share how you were bothered, but don't become a victim. Don't exaggerate, <laughs> okay? What else we got? We got the Cherry card in reverse. Don't become controlling, because you have to wonder how this man is controlling these animals just to win a victory. And I feel like you guys can become really gun ho on proving a point when your victory is here. So, let's talk about the lovers card in reverse. We got the Queen of Cups out here. I feel like this person wants to really honor you, and I see a counterpart out here. I feel like you guys probably were using your heart space with a person, but they were dealing with another person and left you emotional. I don't know how you're feeling towards this person now, but I just see that they want to value you now and to keep your heart open. Whether you're a man or a woman with this Queen of Cups, be graceful, be forgiving. Let's talk about this Five of Pentacles out here. This is their past. Three of Cups out here in reverse. And I like having the Three of Cups in reverse because I said this is their past. The Three of Cups in reverse is telling me that they're not going to connect with their past. They're going to disconnect. Okay? They're leaving the suffering behind. They're leaving the darkness behind. Okay? They're upgrading. They want to reconnect with you even though it's been a long time coming. Three of Cups is all about reconnection, getting together, friend vibes. Talk about this star card in reverse, feeling hopeless. Hangman out here. Now, 
the hangman is in a stressful situation. And I mentioned the stress with the hopelessness. The hangman, <laughs> the hangman is all about being in a stressful situation, finding your peace, and that's how it becomes enlightened. So you guys had a struggle to find your peace, but this person is going to lock it down with you. This person is going to want to tie it down with you. This person is enlightened to what they should have appreciated. Okay? Talk about the Six of Swords out here. Leaving something behind. Getting through it. Tower card out here. Now, I do you feel like this person was a bit hard-headed? Because I see this hard brick wall out here. And I see consequence out here. So I feel like, you know, no matter how this person, you know... I see this person's thought process. This person needed a bit more urgency with the tower card. Because the tower card is quick energy. And I feel like, you know, Spirit kind of had to put this person back against the wall in order for them to move in your direction. Let's talk about this High Priestess in reverse. Star card in reverse is back out here. A lot of you guys have platforms and successful ones, like way more successful than mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and that's okay. It's not a competition out here. We all are out here to uplift the collective and be of guiding light. And I want you guys to heal yourself more, not get down and depressed when another person doesn't recognize you in your timing. Okay? So, and recognize you got to continue your journey if somebody doesn't want to, you know, be on your wavelength. Because I see this person is catching up really quickly. Let's talk about this artist card in reverse. Ace of Pentacles out here in reverse. Don't block your blessing calling a person a fraud because you feel like they took their sweet time. The Ace of Pentacles is all about giving, well, taking or spirit taking from you. And I feel like your wildest dreams are about to manifest and you're about to feel like this person is a blessing, but you guys can't be bitter because it didn't happen in your time or somebody took something from you. Like nobody can take what's not destined for them, period. <laughs> guys, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe. Hey, what's up, pal number four? Okay, so <laughs> your reading has already started when I picked up this magnet, but I tried to pick up four, but I put up two, so you might want to check out pal two. But come on in, pal four. Let's talk about you guys. Great Spirit, what's going on, pal four? Please and thank you. What are some urgent messages for them? I don't have extra car. I do have extra cars, and I have duplicates. You definitely want to go check out pal two. And I can't even remember what pal two that much, but please go check out pal two because we have two duplicates and. I couldn't put up four, whatever. Great Spirit, what's going on, pal? Four, please and thank you. Urgent messages for them. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. My Queen of Pentacles is known to be a karmic, somebody that is a klepto, somebody that steals, somebody that takes shortcuts in life, somebody that is probably going to reincarnate in, just to learn their karmic lesson because they're going to acquire a karmic debt. So I don't know if this is your energy. I don't know if you're the karmic or if you're dealing with the karmic. I hope I'm not talking to karmics because karmics are hard-headed, okay? Karmics feel like things are owed to them, 
okay? So let's talk about it. Let's tap in my second card. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, wow. My Seven of Swords in reverse is all about calling people out. And it's funny because the Seven of Swords is all about treason, thieving, stealing. So I'm calling people out, which is unfortunate. I don't mind doing it. But I, I like giving love and support, but I got to call some karmics out that I like to steal from other people. That I like to paint a pretty picture. And spirit sees it. Spirit is not happy with the the, the character. <laughs> you know, um, karmics are just building up karmic debt by taking from other people. You can't take from another person without taking from yourself. You think you're winning now? You haven't... You're not getting away with anything because you're stealing from yourself. What else we got? We got the Two of Swords out here. And it makes sense to me as a reader because the Two of Swords is a person that's blind and closed off. They want to block out this message and I'm going to let you. I'm not going to force my reading on nobody. Okay? But if you want to block it out and not recognize the negativity and the toxicity that you're bestowing upon other people, you're going to be fully aware next time around when somebody does the same thing to you. And it's going to be even worse. So it's best to really stop while you're ahead. But some people are like, no, I don't think so. I'm not going to convince you. <laughs> I'm not. I got the five of swords out here in reverse. I mean, five of swords in reverse is misleading your enemy and um, miscalculating. So if you don't feel like you're, what you're doing is bad, then that's okay. What else you got? We got the Three of Cups out here. Some of you guys are stealing from your friends, which makes it so bad. You're smiling in people's face, and you're stealing from them. And that's how, like, it's a power trip for a lot of people because they like being deceptive. You know, be careful liking being deceptive because that's very similar to Satan. Check the energy at the door. <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> we got the Two of Swords back out here. A lot of you guys think it's cute being a wolf or being a predator or seizing opportunities on people that are unsuspected. You think it's cute until it happens to you. Like, you guys got peace now because I got the four swords out here. You guys got away with something. You guys are happy with your, your victory. You know, somebody didn't suspect you did it. You got away with it. But Holy Spirit saw you, okay? Holy Spirit took notes and said, you know what? You're going to pay for that. You think you got away with it, but you came to this reading. And now I'm calling you guys out. So, continue on. Don't let me stop you. We got the Eight of Swords out here. <laughs> Eight of Swords in reverse is telling me you guys are free now, but when that karma wheel comes turning, you guys are not going to like where you land. Because the Eight of Swords is all about being in a stuck situation. Okay, so you're living your life like it's golden. You're living it up. You're proud of your success story. That's not a success story. <laughs> what else you got? We got the Seven of Pentacles out here. Y'all should have thought longer. And I hate to give you guys this attitude, but you guys got to recognize the energy, okay? The energy of taking from other people is negative. You know, y'all think it's a doggy -e dog world out here and people took from you. That doesn't make it okay. <laughs> an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. Because somebody, hurt people hurt people. So because somebody did it to you, that made it okay? No. How are you going to make it to heaven? How are you going to make it to paradise when you out here doing wrong? You think you're going to talk to God and God's going to be like, oh, okay, somebody did it wrong to you, so you can do it back to them. That's not how the conversation is going to go. Lucifer likes doing eye for an eye. Lucifer likes doing, you know, get back. In this reading with the higher font. I'm not better than you guys. The higher font is known to be a person of authority, guidance of the church. And I know I'm, you know, I'm talking about God a lot in this reading because it's a spiritual video. You're at a pick a card reading, you're at a turn reading where I channel the most high. So I'm a messenger of the most high. I'm delivering this message. You got a choice to make. Do you want to be a better person? Do you want people to look up to you? Or do you want people to look down on you? Great Spirit. 
when I get clarity in closing remarks, I feel like a lot of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to really define your actions, but you better act like you love people. You ain't making it to heaven without loving one another. So what are you doing? What are you really doing? Earning your ticket to somewhere else? Praise Spirit, can I get clarity in closing remarks, please? And thank you. How about this Queen of Pentacles out here, being a karmic? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, taking from other people will only bring you debt because the Seven of Pentacles is all about watching things grow and your savings account. But when it's in reverse, it's like debt. And I feel like you guys taking shortcuts will not win in the long haul, in the long run. I got the Eight of Pentacles out here in reverse. Uh, you're taking from people that work hard for theirs. Let's talk about the eight of, I mean, the seven of swords are in reverse, calling people out. The, the knight of cups out here in reverse. Now, my knight of cups in reverse is disappointing dissatisfaction. And I feel like you guys are dis disappointed that I had to call you guys out. I feel like a lot of you guys, I typically go to my readings and you're satisfied. And today's different. <clears throat> I got to call you guys out. You got to take the good with the bad. And I'm sorry to be the very bad news, but, um, I gotta call you eyes out so you guys don't do further damage. Let's talk about the two of swords out here in reverse, being closed off. Two of swords out here, it's time for you guys to do something different. Instead of you guys being closed off and not thinking about another person, it's time for you guys to exercise your heart space. Be open hearted. Think about what another person's going through, not just yourself. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys feel unsupported or you're out in the cold or out and alone and let me tell you something. If you feel like you have to steal, Spirit's going to look at you and say, Dad, you don't feel like I'm blessing you? Because Spirit don't, don't condone stealing. Spirit blesses those that abide by being of light. Let's talk about the Spirit Cups out here, your friend group. Ace of Swords out here. The Ace of Swords is all about true clarity and intuition. How are you going to do wrong by your friend group? How are you going to win when you ain't right within? That's what I just heard. Let's talk about the two of swords out here. Now, when it's done to you, you're going to be angry and upset because that's what my Knight of Wands is in reverse, upset and aggressive. And I feel like, you know, you can disassociate now, but when it's done to you, you're going to be upset because everything has a balance. <laughs> Let's talk about this eight of swords out here in reverse, feeling free. Six of Swords out here in reverse. Now, you might be feeling free, but I feel like this message brought you turbulence for being called out. And I'm sorry it brought you turbulence, but you guys got to walk righteously. Okay, I'm not better than nobody, but I strive to be a better version of myself every single day. Let's talk about the Seven of Pentacles out here upright. Love this card out here in reverse. You guys got to be patient with yourself more instead of seeing other people more successful than you or having more than you. You got to just be more patient with your success story. Like I said before, spirit blesses those that are patient. Okay, so what that said is if you start stealing, spirit's going to just be like, oh, you don't see the blessing that I'm pouring down on you. That's how you manifest, to be honest with you, because negativity is just you taking and subtracting from yourself. Okay, I hope it resonates. Let's talk about this higher fun out here. Six of Pentacles out here. I feel like you guys should probably give back what you took or do it in a way that alleviates what you took because you guys got to find balance out here. I don't want you guys acquiring your karmic debt because my past life knows all too well what negativity is, and that's why I'm doing it differently in this light. I'm not better than you. I ain't never been because my past life knows this energy. So I want you guys to do better and balance out that karma so you don't have somebody doing that to you. Because it's going to hurt even worse. Trust and believe. Peace, y'all. I love you. Even though this was a rough reading. <laughs>